Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a login screen or a login mechanism in Drona HQ. So we've seen this question being asked a lot of times in our community and we thought it's finally time to well clear this up. So good news, you don't actually have to create a login mechanism or any sort of login screen as it's already baked into the product to make it easier for you. So let me show you what I mean. So let's say you're building your app and you finish making it. You first have to publish it over here by clicking this publish button. I've already published it so you can see that my version is 0.01 and you can add some release notes and publish it. Once you do that, you have to click the share button and you get the screen where if you want to make it public, you can enable that and get a publicly shareable link. If you want to invite users to use your app, you can enter their name and email ID and well, send an invite to them. Then they'll get an email at their inbox where they can log in and set up their credentials and start using your account. If you do want to add multiple users together, you can head back to our admin console. Go to the manage user section over here. Here you'll be getting a user list. And if you click the invite users here, you can get an option to add and invite multiple users together. You can also assign them to groups. So say I have a marketing group where I want them to be able to access all the marketing apps. I can assign them to the marketing team. I can create new groups from here and manage all my users much more effectively. So that's that here. You can see a list of all users who are currently in my system or in my channel. I can every user who gets added has a set of user properties, which I can edit by going to the user hierarchy over here. So I click on that, you can give it a minute to load. So you get the screen where it contains all the user properties. You can add, edit information and do a lot more. So for example, if I want to edit someone's user ID, I just have to click on it and I can edit it. So uh, you can also add new properties, of course, by clicking on this column over here and giving each of your column a name and choosing the type and you can add how many ever you want together. So they'll be added in the user property section. Now the question is, how do I access the user email, the username and other user properties from inside my app? That is very simple. You just jump over back to your app, drag and drop any control. And if you go to the bind data section, you will have a dedicated section for the logged in user details where you can select whatever property you want, the user email, the username and all the other properties you set up over there. So that is it. And in fact, if you want to access the user email or username, it can be accessed from anywhere using the keyword user email or username. So if I type in user, I can see the two keywords have popped up username or user email. So that is about it. By the way, if you're an enterprise plan customer, then we can set it up so that your users can log in using their existing credentials rather than having to reconfigure the whole thing again. We can also help you set up SSO for your apps to work alongside your organization SAML or LDAP. And uh, yeah, that is about it. I hope you liked this video and learned how to manage and access your users. If you have any other queries, feel free to reach out to us in the comments below or in our community forums. We'll be more than happy to help. And well, thank you and have a nice day.